I was 27 when the Nazis began to cast their shadow over my hometown. Alone and frightened, I picked up my sketchbook and left. Leaving my childhood crumbling behind me, all I had was a sketchbook and a change of clothes. If I had not left when I did, I would have been trapped held captive by the testaments that formed me. I wasn't sure where I was going and what would happen to me. I didn't know if I'd ever make it to safety. It was the longest journey of my life. When I reached Britain, I moved to Glasgow in Scotland. But one day, not long after, I received a letter stamped with a red cross. I knew what it meant. I didn't need to open it. My family, everyone was dead. My heart broken, I was very lonely. In 1944, I visited the Swansea Valleys for some respite. Instantly, I knew that this place would be perfect for me. I got a room at the Pennebont Arms. I loved exploring Astrid Gunlice and the surrounding villages. It was such a beautiful place. I remember being woken up very early by the sound of heavy footsteps. When I looked from the window, I saw men with pickaxes slung atop their shoulders. I would sit waiting all day, thinking about them, hoping they would be back soon. When they returned, their faces were black and their eyes were weary, yet their spirits were still high. In Astrid Gunlais, I painted so much, inspired by the color, the people, and the beauty all around. I would sit upon my windowsill and paint the river below me, especially when the sun was shining, making the water sparkle and glisten. I came for only two weeks but this became 11 years. I was given the name Jobach. The miners would look up at my room, and if my light was on, they would shout up and say, Shomai, Jobach! Now I am old, and I no longer live there. But a part of me will live on in Astrid Gunlais forever. I hope that my art inspires the village, as the village did for me and my art. I hope one day that all people seeking refuge become free from violence and persecution. I hope that they find a place like this, a place forged by heavy industry, surrounded by heavenly scenery, and a community steeped in humor and good grace. To my friends, the people of Astrid Gunlais, Diolchan Vaur, I stayed for so long because I found all that I required, my Kenevin. <laughs>